2009, the American Academy of Neurology concluded that women with epilepsy were not at a more than twofold increased risk of uh, cesarean section, uh, late pregnancy related bleeding, and not at a more than 50% increased risk of preterm labor. Um, so our findings actually support uh, those conclusions. So for example, we didn't find a more than twofold increased risk of C-section um, or hemorrhage, and we found uh, about a 50% increased risk of preterm labor. Um, so in that sense, uh, they uh, correlate with what they found. We would argue that you don't need a more than twofold increased risk uh, to be an important outcome. So for example, um, we found that women with epilepsy had an added 74 per 1,000 deliveries experiencing C-section. And we would argue that this is still an important outcome um, and shouldn't be necessarily swept under the rug. We were also able to um, assess other outcomes that the report was not able to assess. So, for example, they were unable to make comments about the risk uh, for preeclampsia. And our study found that women with epilepsy had about a 60% increased risk for preeclampsia. Um, so we were able to add that um, and also this, uh, the report uh, wasn't able to make comments about maternal mortality. Um, because our sample size was so large, we were able to assess a very rare outcome like maternal mortality. And so uh, we found again that women with epilepsy had about a more than tenfold increased risk of maternal mortality. Um, although it, the risk was low, it was about 80 per 100,000. Um, it still uh, suggests that uh, this is a worrisome finding. So I think overall an update uh, needs to be done to the report to uh, add in the accumulated evidence since that report in 2009. Um, they may have underestimated the risk in women with epilepsy, so an update is definitely in order. We also assessed uh, hospital characteristics in women with epilepsy. So. Uh, we wanted to see if women with epilepsy delivered uh, at higher risk hospitals than women without epilepsy. And we, so we assessed hospital characteristics uh, like hospital region, location, um, whether the hospital is a teaching hospital or non-teaching hospital, um, the annual average number of deliveries of the hospitals. And we found that women with epilepsy delivered at hospitals sim that look similar to the hospitals that women without epilepsy delivered at. So it suggests that women with epilepsy right now are not um, necessarily being routinely triaged to high risk centers. And um, so that's a potential area that could benefit uh, women with epilepsy in the future, triaging them, following them more closely throughout their pregnancy. Um, uh, so I think that that's one area uh, that could be examined in the future.